Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing predictions for SummerSlam. Yeah, another seven-hour wrestling show. I hope. Probably not. six. I hope it's six. It, yeah. I hope it ends at 11. That's terrible. Or thereabouts. Because <laughs> six hours is plenty. Yeah. I still don't plenty. understand the two-hour pre-show. You got three matches. I know, but it doesn't make any sense. Well, I mean, if you didn't watch Raw or SmackDown and didn't watch any wrestling yeah. since Extreme Rules, you can just tune into the pre-show. Yeah, I guess that's true. We Was will it... take two months worth or a month worth of television and cram it into those two hours. The um, the good news mm. is the fact that there's only ten matches announced for the main. Card. Oh yeah, I thought there was thirteen, but that was pre-show. Um. So and the majority of them are title matches. And well, what I was gonna say is that that's like the same amount as Extreme Rules. Mm-hmm. And so there is a shot that it actually will not. Oh, you didn't know Lesnar and Reigns was turned into a sixty-minute Iron Man match? <laughs> Honestly, that would make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> it really would. Why you don't want to listen to booing for a string? Could you imagine if WWE was just like, "Screw you, WWE fans! This is what you're getting. Yeah, like it or not." Because like they could do that like on a Raw, but that would completely risk their viewership. Yeah, it's like Raw got the lowest rating <laughs> of any show ever. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Literally everybody turned off the TV. <laughs> People were leaving the arena. It was the opening of Raw. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so our pre-show match. Is... Number one. Number one. Yes. Uh, Ced- I... Cedric Alexander versus Drew Gulak. I was just going to go with a mixed tag match first because it's non Cruiser weight. Cruiser weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. That's what I no. put first. All right, fine. Um, when was the last time you watched Joe Five Live? <laughs> when did that Buddy Murphy and Mustafa Ali match happen? I didn't watch that. It so. wasn't then either. Yeah, <laughs> it was probably like WrestleMania ish. Probably around WrestleMania. Same yeah. thing here. And it's like I said, and I'll say it every time. It's a shame because it's a decent. It's a good hour of mm-hmm. wrestling. You just don't. It's just have I'd, it in us. I don't want to watch another hour of wrestling after SmackDown. Yep. I'd much rather watch The Miz and Mrs. Yeah. I don't even watch that after SmackDown. That's really good. I know. I, I just catch it, it on demand on the weekend. I watch. I enjoy it thoroughly. Although I missed the last week's episode. I gotta watch it. Was there one last week? Yeah. Okay, then I gotta watch it. Did you watch last night's? Yes. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? What's it matter? <laughs> It all happened in the past anyway. We know what happens. Oh, God. Do you normally watch things out of order? Um, no. Actually, I'm actually very adamant on not doing <laughs> stuff like that. But the uh, it was on, and I didn't turn it off. That's it. I didn't watch SmackDown until after, and it's yeah. not on Hulu. So. Mm, fair enough. If it's on Hulu, I would have watched it already. Oh, yeah, because you, you don't have cable. No. I don't have it. I don't. I watch it on the t- on my compupa. Yep. Uh, anyway, yeah. I'm picking Drew Gulak because Drew Gulak is cruiserweight number one in my book. Well, let's be honest here. Cedric's had the title since Mania. Mania, and I mean, Cedric's been like one of the last people I've heard anything about on 205 Live. Mm. It's more about you know Leo Rush, Buddy Murphy, Mustafa Ali. Drew oh, Gulak. you mean instead of him? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I hear about everybody else pretty much because mm. he's um, just doing his thing. Yeah, I-, I think it's definitely worth giving Drew Gulak a run with the title. So why not? And then he can have some more PowerPoint presentations. <laughs> uh, there probably has been. You just haven't. haven't I seen know any. it's a shame. They should bring him back to Raw. Have him do that on Raw. That would be better. Watch, so they can hang out in the locker room with Mojo Raleigh and the rest of the job squad? No, I'm not saying the Cruiserweights. I'm saying uh, Drew Gulak oh, and his PowerPoint presentation. Just that? Just, just that. Just that as a segment? Just that. All right. All right. We got a special time slot for him and everything? Uh, uh, take whatever spot Elias is or, or uh, Bobby Lashley or whatever they're doing. Or the Raw tag team division whatever that's fair it just whatever you got to do make time for drew gulak and his powerpoint presentations i'm there with bells on 
All right. <laughs> anyway, Rusev and Lana versus um, Andrade Cien Almas and Selena Vega. Um, I wonder where they're going to go with this. Does no Aiden way. come out no and way. screw no Rusev and Lana again, and this actually turns into something? <laughs> Or does this just ma- this match just happen and Rusev okay. and Lana win and it that's the end of it? It means nothing, and it's going to be another glorious Rusev day. Yeah, that's what that's I figured. That's what it is. Now, Andrade's won three matches in a row mm-hmm. against them. He's yep. they're not going to win. Nope. Yeah, it'll be Rusev and Lana day. Mm-hmm. If anything, they're going to tease English screwing it up again, and then they end up winning anyway. Yeah. I guess that's true. Nothing really progresses on the pre-show. No, nothing progresses. Period in wrestling. <laughs> or at least in the WWE, Thank they're you. terrible. Thank you. Absolutely terrible. Because they'll set up storylines that you think, oh, they could do this or they could do this, and then they do like the worst idea, and then it goes nowhere. You see, that's that's what I think my biggest problem has been with, or biggest criticism of WWE lately is that I've kind of changed my viewing of wrestling. Like I'm more for the stories rather than. The in-ring action. I've always been all about I know. the story. Right, so. right. And now I'm looking at that because, like, with Impact stuff, it, I've enjoyed their storytelling a lot more. So I'm looking at WWE, and that's it's been turning me off more and more because... It's bad. It's bad. Mm-hmm. That's it. You build... You, like, we had most of these matches set up, what, a week after Extreme Rules? Mm-hmm. And then you're supposed to build that story, and uh, instead we're just going to put people in random matches. A good example of this is how ready was everybody for Rusev to take the WWE title. Oh, yeah. And now he's on the pre-show. Now he's on the pre-show. Yep. Yep. So, case in point. Yep. That's it. Rusev, if anything, needs to win this match. Otherwise, (laughs) yeah. like, granted, he's not going to be less popular, but, like, how could you do that? It's not, definitely, the chants are definitely not as loud as they once were. Probably not, but they were crazy at one point. I know. I know. Um, Anyway. Moving on. Moving we on. the Raw Tag Team title match, the Revival versus the B-Team. You said that the Rival... The rival? The, the Revival <laughs> has to win. Well, I don't say that. I mean, I would they like... They should. Yeah, they should, because this... All things considered, there's not, no reason for them not to, but... Are the B-Team going to lose their streak on the pre-show? Yeah, I was going to say, it's the pre-show, the B-Team... I don't know what their end game is. I mean, this. you would think they would just be fed to the authors of pain, and that would be it. Yeah, and then but the authors of pain. Why did the would revival just... get involved? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Honestly, it's never a con to the team to begin with. It does. It, it's. I don't know. Well, the whole thing with Bray and Matt just shit the bed basically they didn't do anything with it that was uh, yeah, the problem but they, did they didn't the... have an opponent for them well no you can't well that was our biggest criticism in the first place why would his first opponent be somebody who's also yeah a nut job yep, yep, yep. so to speak mm-hmm. so whatever yeah what's gonna happen is if matt goes out anyway it's just gonna be bray yeah, he's gonna end up yeah, he's gonna end up do, uh feuding with finn balor again <laughs> yeah <laughs> Finn is going to be free soon. Yeah. So. Who are you going to pick? Uh, I'll just pick the opposite. All right. I'm going to pick the B team. All right. Good enough. So you can have. I'll have the revival. The revival. The revival. The rival. The rival. Exactly. Yeah. They really suck at booking. Tag teams? Well-perceived NXT tag teams. Or they, they, former they, NXT tag team they, champions. No. They suck at booking everybody. Well, they mean, haven't done a good job with anybody. anybody. As far as building a character? Yeah. yeah. Anybody. Yeah. And a good portion of the people on the roster now are people that were once in NXT. Mm-hmm. Well, I can I can name a bunch. Both in NXT. Both in NXT. Both in NXT. Both in NXT. One. NXT. Technically Definitely. NXT. Yeah. NXT. Um two of them were in nxt in the new day yeah I seth think. was in nxt becky charlotte and carmelo all in nxt alexa was in nxt joe samoa was. joe was daniel bryan was technically um, and then there's roman reigns brock. <laughs> and the brock hmm? all right so let's move on to the main card 
All right. Uh, I opened the show with Finn Balor versus Baron Corbin. Ooh. Um, bathroom break to start the show. I yeah. Like it. Uh, Corbin's going to win. What? Corbin's going to win. Corbin's going to win? Yeah, he is. No, he's not. Why not? Because Finn's got that uh, pay-per-view streak. What pay-per-view streak? Uh, he's won all his single matches, hasn't he? Did they say that? No, it's a thing, though. I'm pretty sure. I believe it, because he doesn't <laughs> have that many <laughs> last one he wrestled was, like, January or something like that. No, it couldn't have been January, because that was Royal oh, Rumble. Oh, yeah. Um, he might not have had one in a calendar year. Nah, maybe that's possible. No. That, it, the maybe last time Bray he Wyatt. had a singles match could have very well been... <laughs> Bray Wyatt? Actually, no, he won it No Mercy last year. Mm. That was against AJ Styles. Mm, that's right. So... There's one. Definitely had one. All right, let's think back. Survivor Series, he was on Team Raw. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't remember what the pay-per-view they had for Raw. There was no pay-per-view in December. For, yeah, it was just the SmackDown one. It was um, Night, uh, Clash Champions. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was SmackDown. That was and that movie. was the last. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So No Mercy was the last Raw exclusive mm-hmm. pay-per-view. He right. won that one. Um, the Next Royal in, Rumble. Yep, and then. He was no. he was in the Elimination Chamber. Oh yeah yeah that's or right. Or was he? He I think he was right. Yeah 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 yeah. I'm um, pretty sure. And then um, after Elimination Chamber, it was. Um, I'm just gonna Google it. Yeah, and then it was um, WrestleMania, I guess, right after that. We ramble a lot. Yeah. And you make oh. a lot of noise. Here we go. What? This was posted in July of last yeah. month. It said Finn Balor's pay-per-view record could end if he loses at Extreme Rules. Uh... And he went up against Baron Corbin. <laughs> Four single matches. SummerSlam 2016. Uh-huh. The Styles won. Bray Wyatt. And, oh, yeah. And then... Yeah, he wrestled Bray Wyatt last year's SummerSlam, right? Yeah. It's so dumb. It's not even worth bringing up. <laughs> it really isn't. That's the best part. Um, it was a talking point, man. I know. I know. You're, cool. you're going to pick Baron Corbin? Yes. All right, then I'll pick Finn Balor. All right. We ain't seen no demon, though. That's for damn sure. No, obviously not. I don't think we're going to see him at all. Maybe Baron Corbin will dress up as the demon. That'd be funny. That would be. Yeah, wearing that, like, elf hat or whatever that he wears. Mm. Wait, Finn? Or are you talking yeah, about? Corbin oh, would wear yeah. the elf hat. Yeah. All right. Uh, up next, we got Jeff Hardy versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the United States Championship. Who do you have and why? Hmm. It was pretty funny that Shinsuke and Randy Orton aligned themselves. Yeah, and both had to yeah. Do it. <laughs> you you were thinking about it too, yeah. right? You? I know what you mean. Uh, Shinsuke is gonna retain. You think Shinsuke? Yeah. Unless, yeah, because I I don't know. He'll have the championship. I think Orton's gonna attack Jeff again. Yeah, probably. So Shinsuke is gonna lose the match. But, but he'll routine. have the title. Yeah. So uh, that's what I'm going to pick. I'm just going to write Shinsuke wins because we don't that's really fine. have, like... Well, he'll retain the title. Retain that's really title. all that yeah. matters. All right. Here's actually a highly anticipated match. Mm-hmm. And somewhat intriguing in what they could do, but they're going to do something boring. Since they haven't done anything with it, that's been intriguing. Braun Strowman versus Kevin Owens. If, if Kevin Owens or if Braun Strowman loses in any fashion... Either by count out, by disqualification, any way, mm-hmm. Kevin Owens gets the money in the bank briefcase. Yep. Um, There's and- a million ways this could play out, mm-hmm. but WWE has kind of re- slowed this down very much as it's come closer to the pay per view. Well, in all fairness, the first couple of weeks they just gave Braun reasons to lose, and then this week they gave him the one victory mm-hmm. that he's gotten, really. Um, in the past, it happened once, right? No, that's not what I was going to say. Oh, okay. In the past, if it was anybody but Braun Strowman, guarantee Kevin Owens walks away with the money in the bank. That's fair. Braun Strowman is too hot right now, and they think too much of him. All right. Before you go any further, do you think, obviously this match will be earlier in the card, mm. do you think the outcome of this match will 
portray the out or will showcase what will happen in the main event um or affect the outcome i should say kevin owens won't get involved if for whatever reason he gets the money in the bank briefcase that'll be the following night when brock destroys roman if he wins Mm. or braun destroys brock if brock comes out and he wins that that's the only thing i can see yeah so there's if owens wins then reigns is probably walking away with the title yes but I, I don't think they're necessarily, like, related. Mm-hmm. Like, that's probably going to happen, but I don't think one is affecting the, the other. other. I gotcha. So, I gotcha. Because either way, Braun's going to destroy people. Oh, yeah. So. Um, I'm going to say Strowman's going to keep the briefcase. I, I'm going to agree as well. Yeah. I, I just I don't see them doing the thing that makes sense no and because it would be awesome if that, kevin owens got the t- a briefcase and there's one key thing here that would mean they would have to think about this long term why well i mean i'm just I, well whoever it is is probably cashing in within two nights i guess that's true so i mean i could see owens holding on to the briefcase and kind of doing what carmella did to an extent i i don't know if they're gonna do that though Unless, unless, because this is something they can do, he gets it back and then he just continues to feud with Ron. Mm. And I see that possibly happening. Oh, that's happening, true too. Yeah, which is not what we want. No. So, well, I guess we'll we'll see. Yeah. Um. Okay. We got the Bludgeon Brothers versus the New Day. Pass. <laughs> uh. I don't. I don't want either team to win. Yeah. I don't really care. I, w- I wanted to see the bar face First the Bludgeon Brothers. Brothers yeah, and that's what watch I wanted the bar to see. Win. Yeah. I, I don't really care if the New Day wins. No. And, and the Bludgeon Brothers are going to disappear into yeah. nothing if they What, are they lose. just going to disappear and then be like, oh, yeah, we got the club. Let's put them on TV now. Yeah. Well, and the problem is they've been having the Bludgeon Brothers do squash matches. So they're obviously not going to make yeah. them disappear. Because right. why would they waste time on someone who's not going to be around? So are we really going to ask that question? I guess that's true. Yeah. I'm going with the blood. Yeah, I'm going to agree. Hopefully the bar will face them at a later point then. Yeah, I guess that would make sense. Um, all right, so we got Dolph Ziggler versus Seth Rollins for the Intercontinental Championship. Um, we yeah. set it on our Raw recap. Seth wins. Dean attacks him. They feud over the title. And blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that seems to make the most sense. And I don't know. I still can't get invested with anything with Dolph Ziggler in it. It's it's a I, shame. I just hope he becomes a cheerleader. Yeah, again. that would probably be his best role. Mm-hmm. The fact that they made Drew do this for him mm-hmm. at first is a little weird to begin with. Right. So. Yeah, that that does make sense. And like you said, hopefully Drew will maybe challenge Roman or something like that. That's perfect. Yeah, absolutely. All right. I mean, uh, kind of that'll get Drew cheered, but nah, we, we got to get past matter. that. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Drew I deserves know. to be cheered, though. Oh, absolutely. There's a difference. It's, there's a difference between um, Elias getting cheered when he faces Roman. I guess that's true. Because that's a... Or... Mm, it's really hard to pick an example. Um, gender? <laughs> no. Well, yeah, but I don't think they ever cheered for gender, too. Oh, they, they did. Not really. They booed both of them. When he cost Roman the oh, shot. Yeah, I yeah. guess that's true. Yeah. Either way. Um, not important. No. So, uh, all right. So, up next, we have Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair versus Carmella. Yeah. For the SmackDown Women's Championship. Yeah. Well, you seem pretty, uh, pretty well, adamant that Carmella is going to retain the title. Here's the thing. Originally, when it was Carmella versus Becky Lynch, I figured Becky was going to win. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Carmella would get her rematch at whatever the next pay-per-view is T. what is the next pay-per-view hell in a cell it, it is hell in a cell i okay. think so. you probably told me 10 times i think so yeah anyway um uh, becky would retain then and then move on to face charlotte probably at evolution, evolution. which makes the most sense mm-hmm. now it'll probably be carmella retaining the title in my mind she'll lose it at hell in a cell and it'll end up being becky versus charlotte at evolution, evolution regardless and, regardless yeah what if if the destination is the same, why change your mind? 
Because it just because it's triple threat, you think yeah, the two I, of them yeah. Are gonna... Because I think it's going to start to you know fuel more or add more fuel to the fire already between Becky and uh-huh. Charlotte, and then Becky would you know they should be like I would have won this if you weren't involved, you know, just kind of, kind of just adding to it. All I right. think I, I mean I think regardless, however they do it, it's still going to end up with Becky versus Charlotte at Evolution, and that's really the end game. That's fair. I'm going a different route though. Okay. All right. So. On SmackDown, mm-hmm. there seems to be tension between Charlotte and Becky. Obviously. Uh, a lot of jealousy on Becky's part. Mm-hmm. Um, Becky finally picked up the win for her team last night. She didn't let Charlotte get involved at all. Mm-hmm. Becky's going to win this match by getting Carmella to tap out. And then Becky's going to rub it in Charlotte's face, if essentially making her a heel. And this is going to lead to a program between the two mm-hmm. of them ending up in evolu- at Evolution. Yeah. Two of them facing for the title. That's fair. I mean, it, it honestly could work with Charlotte winning the title and Becky getting pissed and it finally, you know. Yeah, either way works, yeah. but I'd rather see Becky win. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, so up next we have Alexa Bliss versus Rowdy Ronda Rousey yeah. or <laughs> Triple R. <laughs> as you like to refer to her as. Yep the new game i mean i i had a scenario in my mind and i really hated it Uh uh-huh but it's the wwe so who knows nia Jax comes back and she's in alexis corner this time and costs ronda rousey the title no i don't think so there's no bearing behind it i know i know i know but there was literally nothing i know um but we haven't seen her in weeks yes but nia didn't lose the title because of ronda nor did she not win it back because of no her. i know but it, i i know yeah. you're basically saying that there's no reason for anything so might as well throw throw it in out there yeah um it's a point i i don't see it although it is possible alexa does retain though like the dq or something like that um I wouldn't say that. She's going to cleanly pin? No, she's not going to cleanly win. Ah. But I think that there is a chance that there is some kind of... Or count out or something. Yeah. But it's really hard to assume they're not going to just give it to Ronda. Right. And just because I feel like her being in evolution with the women's title, it just yeah. feels like... Because it's just really hard to picture them making Alexa Bliss look bad, too. Yeah. She can. She can take it. Right. Much more than Ronda can. It's true, but it, like we've said... They booked her so well. Yeah. One she's Ronda. like the one person on the main roster that's actually been booked well. Wow. I, I know we asked earlier, yeah. Yeah. and like no one did. I yeah. think she's the one. Which Probably. Which is funny, because we were both scratching our heads when mm-hmm. they called her up. Yeah. Well, yeah, everybody was. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I there's she just plays the heel persona so well, mm-hmm. and I think a big part of that is she's able to interact with the crowd you know when they start booing her she actually goes back because some people just kind of play it off mm-hmm. they don't even get involved and i think that's that's really a big point for the heels she's more comfortable yeah yeah absolutely um what do you think of ronda rousey winning the title and immediately turning heel and going all brock lesnar not in the just not showing up not <laughs> not in that sense but in the i'm the i guess the big guy in town and no one can beat me or do you think she's gonna be all smiley baby face for a while that's that's it i mean yeah i think she i I think i don't know if she's gotten to that point where she's going to be able to contain herself with excitement because that's really what it is she was all giggles when she was coming out the other night yeah i know it's aggravating well that's what i mean i don't know if she's gonna be able to portray that persona yeah i guess she'll have trouble yeah whatever just Put Ronda down. Triple R. Triple R. There you go. I. I. It's just not a. I'm actually going to go with Alexa. Plus, that's fair. That's fair. It's it just. I don't know. It's. If Ronda doesn't win, it's not going to end here. No. But it's fine. Yeah. Um, I think this feud can go on for a while. They need to change it. But the two of them. Because. Well, they ran. Everyone keeps on getting hurt and stuff. Because <laughs> now make, now it's Alicia Fox instead of Mickey James. I know. And, and, like, Ember Moon's fine. Oh, that's what I was thinking. I'm sorry. 
Because I came up with a, a good storyline to go with yeah. the uh, what, heel triple Ember, R. Ember turn, or she turns on Ember or something? Yeah, where Ember's the next one to challenge her because uh, Ember's a baby face. Right. And that would be a good, like... Yeah, because they back themselves in a corner there. Mm-hmm. You don't have believable opponents, really. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that that's that's what my original thought was, have Ember face her. Yeah. Um, but whatever. We'll see. Yeah. That's um, really it. Yeah, now we got AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe for the WWE Championship. AJ's retaining. It's not ending here. Is this because of all the promotions with AJ versus Joe at Hell in a Cell? No, well, I'm sure that's <laughs> happening. It's just it just doesn't feel like this. This is like the Rusev versus AJ. It because Samoa Joe's feuds never just end after one match. Well, yeah, generally speaking, none of the feuds end after one match anyway. Mm-hmm. The, that Rusev, Rusev one was a very strange one off. Yeah. Um, but you're right. I think that AJ will retain. Uh, Samoa Joe crossed the line with his, I guess, attacking AJ's family. Mm-hmm. AJ's going to prove. He didn't show up at his house yet. Yeah. He's waiting yeah. for that, putting his wife to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really nice letter you wrote me now. Take a nap. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I just, I agree. Yeah. I, I don't think it makes any sense for Joe to pick up the title just yet it could be one of those instances where aj wins and joe's foot's under the rope or something stupid that continues the Mm -hmm. feud just hopefully we don't get a uh kevin owens aj styles botch where the other person was supposed to win yeah that'd be bad (laughs) all right now we have the highly anticipated daniel bryan versus the miz what do you think daniel bryan's gonna win really yeah you think that yeah ah we're gonna disagree I think the Miz showcased in 2K18. That's going to be the mode. Whoops. So, or well, I mean, he has most likely signed a new contract. If he's being advertised for uh, SmackDown Mm -hmm. 1000. So, so my thought is the Miz. Well, you know what? Maybe I'm not 100 percent on Daniel Bryan. Okay. Just because, again, this is something that's not going to end. That that was 100% of my point. Yeah. Okay. So, on SmackDown, The Miz was insistent that Daniel Bryan needs him. But I think Daniel Bryan said the same right? thing. Or something. But, yeah. but that's yeah, yeah, yeah. the Miz's big thing. Right. So, if The Miz somehow ends up beating Daniel Bryan, no matter how he inevitably goes about doing it, that's going to put a fuel underneath Daniel Bryan, and then that'll lead to... Something else. Hopefully, one of them picks up a title or something like that. Yeah, and you can lead that into a real meaningful feud, mm-hmm. and you can actually do something. So like you this. think they'll have the match branch off and then just come back together? Uh, they'll have two matches. I yeah. think they'll they'll split it. This will culminate next year. Yeah, and into something. Hopefully, at WrestleMania. Yeah, so if, there won't be a Hell in a Cell match, is what you're saying? No, there could be. Yeah, that that would make a lot of sense. It would. Yeah, because if you let the Miz win, right? Like, yeah, it's gonna. Yeah, because Daniel Bryan wins, it kind of it, ends it, it yeah. right there. All right, change it to The Miz. All right. You've persuaded me. It just makes sense. And, you know, this is one where there's no one side is better than the other, and it makes more sense for one side to win. Mm-hmm. It just, or I should say, one side's more worthy of winning. Each side is worthy of winning, but oh yeah, to continue the story, The Miz is the right way to go. And he has all this momentum and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not like uh, like last year with Shinsuke versus Jinder for the title. It made no sense for Jinder to keep it, but oh. that's just what they wanted to do. <laughs> all right. Um, speaking of... So, I, you know, it's funny. I what? had a, a random thought the other day. Could Jinder's title run winning over Randy Orton because he was going to bring uh, allegations about Randy Orton forward? Is that why he beat him for the title? Maybe. <laughs> It's definitely possible. Anyway, oh, Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar for the Universal title. Who? I'm unfamiliar with both of these men. <laughs> Please explain to me why this match is happening. Because Vince got cold feet at WrestleMania. Oh. And what about this walrus guy I saw in the ring? With pepper spray? <laughs> or just water in a bottle? Yeah, whatever it was. <sighs> Yeah, it's really bad. It's the third time this match has happened in the last three months. Yeah? Four months. Four. 
Yeah. Yeah. And they're still not going to do it right. No. So, oh, there's... oh, oh, no, hold on. Is Roman going to bleed again? Oh, yeah. The, this whole thing has been built on Brock and his aggression and all of the... Yeah, because basically Paul said he was going to beat the shit out of him. Thinking back to WrestleMania, how did he not win that match? How? <laughs> it was. He took a like sh- five F fives. Such a shit show. He took five F fives. Okay. Got a spear in, and Brock kicked out anyway. Yeah, what we're, was we're, the we're, point of all of it? <laughs> it made no oh, sense. We were like, finally, it's happening, and all of a sudden, you know, it's fucking it's bleeding all over blood, the place. Blood everywhere. Can this end, please? Like, who thinks this is going to be a good WrestleMania main Nobody. event? Nobody. Well, all Vince does, but I, I mean. How many times in the future are we going to look back at this main event and go, oh, man, what a great main event that was? Zero. <laughs> Unless it's muted and, and black and white and everything else. Can't show blood. I guess that's true. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. What's your pick? Early to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Excitement. Sorry, Matt. You got to go home. That's fine. <laughs> I can live with that. Oh, man. Yeah. The problem is there's such a simple solution, but we know it's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really think Brock's going to retain, and then Strowman's going to cash in the night after. I I think that that is definitely possible. I mean, I'd be happy with that because we're going to be at Raw. But yeah, that'd be cool. But <sighs> yeah, just yeah, Brock's going to retain. All right. And now that we're you know. Finally, on, on this side of the fence. Yeah. Although last last time I did I did pick um, anti Roman. Oh, at Mania. No. Oh. Oh, at, great. At Extreme Rules. Oh, Extreme. Oh, right, right, right. Because I said, you know what? Bobby Lashley's well, gonna. <laughs> yeah, I always go with Roman's gotta win, so I'm gonna just toss it on. And I was right. right. Yeah. And right. then the mat rematch happened, and we're back here again. <laughs> yep. So. And um hopefully that's all the matches and we've gone for 32 minutes on yeah i was gonna say i think we've spoken enough I yeah could be wrong. i mean i why is this <laughs> why is that this picture with brock roman ronda and alexa the you picture a, for SummerSlam? Uh, we should put the ufc people on the sides but i guess the champions line up there but why why four people from raw you didn't know there's no Tuesday night show. It's Not just, until Fox. So dumb. <sighs> Whatever. It's a three hour shit show every week. I don't care. <laughs> I I've lost I've lost the ability to actually, you know, care enough to question these things. Oh, there's there's no reason to question these things. Yeah. Yeah. You just have to sit back and accept it. My brain hurts. Yeah. You're Brian. Yep. All right. That was our SummerSlam preview and predictions video. If you liked what you saw here, I know that we (laughs) were on the fence. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.